agree. Um, so to, as you said, to wrap this up, and I think we kept our audience for one and a half <laughs> hours nearly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you think education in general, um, uh, will we see sort of, uh, as we saw a lot of uh, disruption, uh, we talked about the textbook space and innovation as well, and we saw a lot of uh, seed funding and seed nowadays goes up to a million dollars so <laughs> which is quite a bit of seed um yeah. do you think this is going to slow down for education in general in uh, 2013 at least in um, in the states here in europe as well that we are going to maybe see a serious a crunch for ed tech startups that they are going to have a difficult time after their seed to raise um, another round and um, I am pretty sure that on the other hand we are going to hear many more stories and interesting things from emerging countries uh, yes. and I think that's a good thing do you think our let's call it hype is going to continue here in our western world you know, I, I may be a year early on this prediction. I mean, it may take another year for this to, to shake out. If we look at, at the, the big tech bubble of, you know, the dot-com boom, um, it took a couple years for businesses to realize, oh, wait, we need a business plan. Oh, right, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and, and and then the, you know, the the, the brick-and-mortar companies sort of re-emerged and, and refaced themselves with a website. Um, you know, I, I do think, though, the... To some extent, we've learned our lesson with that. I think we'll learn a little faster here. I think there's going to be more requirement for not just a return, but for you know either those philanthropic dollars or or seeing that it actually has measurable benefit. And mm -hmm. and that's is it research based? Does it is it just someone's cool idea, or does it have a, a measurable effect in the classroom? And um, you know, if, if there's not a sense that you can get results and those results are meaningful, both statistically and in the classroom with actual students, I think that it's going to be a little harder to get that money. I, it, it's, I don't think it's going to drop off a cliff by any means. Um, but this sort of willy-nilly everyone who's got a reasonable idea and ed tech gets a million bucks, and we saw millions and millions of dollars funded, like a lot of millions of dollars funded, like hundreds of millions of dollars funded. Sure, um, just picking a story from uh, July, Edmodo itself raised $25 million. I think to you right. raised twice in uh, 2012, making a close to $100 million investment. Mm. Um, Udemy raised 12 million, Discovery invested 20 million in Learnest and Grocket. I mean, right. I a could lot go on. Yeah. And I think that's, for, for some, there's, there's still going to be money. And it's just, I, I don't think it's going to be quite as free flowing. There mm. need to be measurable measure results. And, and everything you're doing should be producing these big data we're going to be talking about in 2013. It was, it, we, it was sort of a story in the general tech world in 2012. It's going to be a big story in 2013 in the general tech world. It's going to be a big story in education as well. And, and so what sort of, how do you tie in these big data and, and how are you using those to measure what students can achieve as a result of, of what you're doing? Are you improving their, their lives and their education? This, yeah. This reminds me of a good blog post uh, by Mark Suster at both sides of the table. It's two years old, but already the headline says it, uh, invest in lines, not in dots. So... Yeah, exactly. and I hope there will be more lines uh, than dots in education in 2013. Sure hope so. <laughs> sure hope so.